Well, there is some good news coming out of these reading tests. Every third grade student at Lanier Elementary in Tulsa passed the reading exam. Educators attribute that success in part to a state-funded program that has now been cut from the budget. Two News reporter Patricia Santos joins us now live to explain exactly how this program worked. Patty? The Literacy First program was part of a state grant uh, that taught teachers the fun fundamentals of how kids learn to read. It was has since been cut, but teachers at this school are still using it today. Lanier Elementary School is an old building. Somebody had a partner to read with over here. But old is good around here. Didn't you just get that book today? Teachers are still using the basics of an old program that still works today. It was some of the best uh, training that we've ever had, uh, that I've ever experienced, and, and many of the teachers expressed the same sentiment. Principal Robert Morris is talking about the Literacy First reading program. What about artsy artists? His teachers got the training through a state grant that no longer exists. He shivered. I don't know if... But those who know it still use it, and it works. We all went through training. These are the phonics. Kathy Nowlin helps new teachers learn the program. Basically, you test the kids, and then you only teach the skills that are needed for each child instead of teaching the whole class every skill. Individualized and specialized teaching. When you're testing each individual child and basing their learning on what they need, then you know that you're teaching them what they need to know. What do you think? It currently costs thousands of dollars to train new teachers, it. and as we know, money is tight these days, but... It's worth every penny and more, quite frankly. I mean, it, it, it's... I, I couldn't put a dollar value on it. All his third grade students passed the state reading test. Roughly eight Title I Tulsa Public Schools are currently using the program. Now Lanier's principal tells me the program, low class size, and also hard work played a role in their success. Live in Midtown Tulsa, Patricia Santos, 2 News works for you. A lot of students and uh, parents there breathing a sight of relief. Pa Patty, thanks.